Welcome back to InPlus One channel. This is Carl, and we are on our way to find a saboteur. Looks like uh, things are not quite so sunny here, and we need to confront them. Habitation deck? Is that where I need to go? Nexus operations. Okay. Well, then wait. What's this? Speak with Kesh. All right. Actually, let's go ahead and let's do that since we're already going this way. New location discovered. Oh, okay, Cash was the Krogan. Yes, I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's hmm. I'm glad to know that this game is embracing diversity with the Krogan voice here. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. All right, let's talk about your job. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. All right, yeah, the Genophage, right. So the Solarians actually inflicted the Genophage on the Krogan to make sure that their birth rate was low. Um, uh, you know, they believed, they genuinely believed the Krogan to be a danger to the universe, and there's going to be probably some interpersonal conflicts here with, I think his name was Lan, the uh, head guy. Let's talk about the Genophage. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. Yeah, what is the state of a cure here? What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Now let's talk about the Solarian involvement. How do you feel about that? No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. That is actually a shockingly mature response. Almost overly mature, to be honest. I, I think that if a species attempted genocide on my species, I would probably not be very comfortable being friendly with them, so kudos to him. What about your Krogan whereabouts here? I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Hmm, what was this deal? Actually, let's ask about number eight first. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. Oh, there we go. I like to go. remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. I have a feeling he might need that from time to time, so I got that. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Yeah, why are you still here? With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Hmm. We might need to keep an eye on him. I don't think he's malicious, but he might actually be working on the outside with some of the exiles. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. 
there's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. I want to know how you believe Gian Garson died. What happened to Gian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Ten might know more. All right, tell me more about the uh, Nexus problem. I thought problems. the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Alright, I guess I'm done for now. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. So I actually do think I like Kesh. Knack more Kesh is the name there. We got a container here. Yeah, take everything. We've moved the off center to the top of our priority list. Data pad. For posterity in case the initiative goes belly up. The Nexus is a four ring circus. Don't like how Tan operates, and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. It's already polarizing Addison, and she's taking the cue to circle the wagons. That's that's an interesting idiom. I think I can talk to Kandros about this and at least try to get two of us more coordinated. Or maybe not. Seriously hate this kind of drama. Yeah, the I... Entire sector showing green. Good job, you two. I, I actually quite like Kesh, to be I'll honest. Check it out myself as soon as I have a moment. He seems like he's got a reasonably level head. More so than Addison, and more so than Lan, interesting. And, and you know, it's a terrible situation when you, you're, uh, when the Krogan is actually the one with the level head. I feel like that sounds racist, but these are fictional races, and they do definitely have some predominant traits that are probably more cultural than actual racial, so that's how I justify that. So, journal, let's go here. Is that... Alright, habitation deck. Tan's office. Speak with Kandros. Let's go ahead and speak with Kandros. That is our Turian militia guy. And I'd know the least about him. There we go. Yeah, let's talk to you, buddy. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. All right, let's talk about the cat, actually. Lowercase cat. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Let's see. Uh, let's talk about Turian welfare? Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. Yeah, I understand that. Coming to Andromeda. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. He seems okay, too. I think I like him and the, uh, Kesh. Kandros and Kesh. Alright, let's talk about your role. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments, 
I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to warn the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Interesting. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. All right, cool. Goodbye. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. All right, yeah, nice. I think uh, I'll speak with the scientists. What scientists? Data pad. All right, so I guess these are like their diaries. Apex status. Lieutenant, based on the status report 16-C, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy, I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risks involved and continued loss of resources and lives makes it hard to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again, Condros. All right. Speak with distraught Turian? Is this... Are you a Turian? What species are you? You almost look What am I going drill. to do? What it's are you? It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband... He's locked up and slated for exile oh. for a crime he didn't commit. He's the Turian in that, that little prison area. What was his crime? What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Yeah, of course. I'd I'll, be happy to. I'll do that. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. All right. Mariette, that sounds actually like a very humanish name for a Turian. Uh, I could talk to... Uh... I'm getting sidetracked here about the saboteur, but there's a lot to discover. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this sort of honeymoon period with the game doesn't wear off. Let's talk to Sergeant Aker. Oh, oh, well, I, I, I seem to have some momentum there I wasn't expecting. Help you. Pathfinder Ryder, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkan, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Ah, uh, no, that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs. Overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Well, arguments happen. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the Ket, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. Hmm. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. That's awful. We were close. He was a stubborn son of a... I admire that about him. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Let's see here. We can say the evidence will decide. Stay a little impartial. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. 
I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. You know what? Sure. Let's go ahead and... There's an arms dealer here at the security area. Not much of a brig, actually, for the size of this operation. Let's talk to you again real fast, buddy. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? Actually, this is about a murder case. I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Yeah. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you didn't trust him? And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. All right, so that actually does sound pretty circumstantial. Where is the, uh, is this it right here? Strike team missions used. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Okay, so I guess that's not it. Uh, well then what console is he talking about there, buddy? Please speak with Tyrion right, Kandros for all the right- That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. All right, dispatch them for what? What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Okay, excellent. Strike team offline. Online features cannot be accessed until you connect online. I'm not offline. Please return to the main menu and connect. Okay, whatever. Interesting. So that's, I guess, how you do... Uh, Alright, there we go. There's the recording. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Huh. All right. Speak with Witness Shaw in Operations. This is Operations. Where's my marker? The marker system is interesting. It's not overly handholdy, but it's very, very convenient. Um, let's see here. But I wish there was a fast way to get to the map. Okay, so she appears to be, or or Shaw. I'm assuming it's a Shaw. Uh, I can confront the saboteur. Wait, what? No, no, no. Addison there. Cassidy Shaw. Here we go. Oh, wow, you look like Storm from the X-Men movies. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh, man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Let's see here. Were there Ket there? Did you see any Ket in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Let's see, did Nilkin regret it? Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Why was the chief shocked? If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? 
Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. So they were friends. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. All right. Did you agree with the chief? Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Hmm. All right. Thanks. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. So when we go to Eos, we need to go ahead... <sighs> Speak with Tan. You know what? Fine. I know where Tan is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, there we go. Hey, yo. Something I can help you with? Yeah, the Nilkin murder charge. I'm looking into the Nilkin Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. Let's see... The body can reveal much. The more certain we can be, the better. All right, but let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. Excellent. Nice. That's all. Thanks for your time. Yeah, because I have a feeling you that we're going to be going to Eos. Um, in the pretty pretty immediate future you know I don't know I don't know how long we're gonna spend on the uh, on the Nexus here there's a lot all right confront the saboteur the saboteur is down in the habitat area and then we can go back to Raj hey do I know you Cor oh yeah I know Cora habitation deck use So the original Mass Effect series actually on the Citadel had these elevators and the characters would actually engage in these little skits and part of it was that that was actually the loading screen effectively. So I guess that when you're going in between those areas and, and that happens there that that's like effectively your loading screen. Uh, I really want a faster way to access the map to be honest with you. Now maybe there is and I've forgotten. I'll probably need to look that up between now and my uh, my next gameplay session here with this game but yeah I'll check that out I'll check that out 22 21 oh oh we're coming wait a second have I saved lately I haven't new empty slot nice hey yo how's it going Zara Kellis Zara Kellis yes I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. Wow, we're blunt. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here, I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. Oh, dag so nabbit. unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. Aha. Uh -huh. A decoy tactic. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. No, it doesn't. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. Who would have access? You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Uh, Raj, you there? Uh, yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. Interesting. Alright, Atrium... I need to get back on that 
that tram. Wait a second. Security. Where am I? I'm actually a little disoriented now. Okay, press start. No. Journal. Left. Okay, so I need to go keep going forward. And then take a left up here. Boop. Take the tram back to. Wait, why does it say Cryo Bay? No, it's gonna be whoever runs security. <coughs> I don't know if that's um, if that's our militia Turian. There's so many names to remember, actually. All right, let's see here. Wait, why is it saying? Why is it saying station sabotage, confront the saboteur? Why is it saying go there? Hyperion Cryo Bay? Uh, all right, so I'm back on the Hyperion? That's not exactly what I meant to do, but that's okay. It says that there's stuff here. I promise. All right, let's talk to Nigel McCoy. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. I'm sorry for your loss. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were going to start families out here together. I have a pendant our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you reunite them? I'll do my of best. Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. All right. Yeah, that's fine. That's not too much. Uh, well, it's not really out of the way at all. Hayes. Do I know Hayes? I didn't mean to come all the way back to the Hyperion, though. How did I get that turned around? Alright, so I need to go... Journal, left... What is this? Information wall. I don't need to talk to the information wall. Okay. So is there a way to pick my destination, then? Is that what I'm missing? Alright. To habitation deck. To operations. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, no, I didn't understand that. All right, so let's go operations. I did not realize I could pick my destination like that. I thought it was just whatever was, was there. Alright, we are back in operations. And 20. Security footage. Whoa, 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 what you doing? What you doing? Alright, security footage one. Day 522. Network access instability detected. Timestamp scrambled. Playback corrupted. This file is useless. Let's check another. Well, that's convenient. Damage control. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe I should actually read these. Hold on. Damage control from Tiran Chondros to from Jaron Tan. Okay, that's the yeah, that's the main director. Chondros, as you've been as you're aware, there is a mutiny aboard the Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former directory, director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. There have been perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising. Supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and drop an official report. It's imperative we know what we're working with if we are going to survive. Pretty reasonable. All right, here's a reply from Condros, Director 10. I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. 
If you really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the Exiles were more Calix's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Uh, reply again. Calix Corvanus may have started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Sloan Kelly is not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. And then, good. Then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone when we get colonial efforts up and running. I don't want any surprises. Uh, this is a separate, uh, actually this is just a report. Uh, forwarding report from Recon Team 232. Trail is cold. Found what looks like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system. But none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Arida, or Irida, was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. That's from Condros to Jarantan. All right, security footage one. That's well. Wait, is that corrupted? It doesn't give me the option to activate it. Uh, well, I don't understand then. If it's all corrupted, it's still showing this as like my destination. Maybe I'm missing something. And another scrambled file. That's not no another one. Seems unlikely. Let's check another. What? That's not another. That's a. Oh, maybe it is. All right. Fail safe disabled. System restore failed. Administrator override required. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. So what, I'm supposed to randomly... Yeah. Scan people in the op center. Scan Nexus security. Transfer to the Hyperion. Gosh, that did not take it long for us to start mixing crews. That does make this a bit more complicated. And it makes it a task for the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today on Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. This was episode 6. I am so glad to be back actually to this game as a huge Mass Effect fan in general. I am actually enjoying this game quite a lot. I I don't know. It sort of feels like it's related just enough to where it's kind of peppering a new story. Um, I don't... Well, yeah, actually with the uh, news that it looks like the Mass Effect series is not going to continue after this this does appear to be the last tale in this universe so with that said I'm glad to have had you if you have anything to say about this video about my playthrough go ahead and comment um, if you enjoyed this video there's a like button there's also a dislike button um, you can do that too and uh, oh yeah subscribe and with that said let's keep doing the thing I will see you next time for more Mass Effect Andromeda.